Hello, and welcome to this mini workshop on using electronic textbooks. Much of what we're going to cover here also applies to the paper textbooks that you can buy in a bookstore or buy used online, but we're going to specifically focus here on electronic textbooks. Right now, we are looking at a chemistry textbook using the OpenStax software. Right online, you do not need an account. You do not need to pay for anything. All of this information is free and open. While it does help to create an account, um, it gives you access to, to more features you definitely do not need to. We are going to start by discussing the table of contents. This exists in paper textbooks just like it does here in electronically. We we're going to click on the link called table of contents. This table of contents gives you a list of every single chapter and every subject within the chapter. And you can actually click on the subject in the chapter. And with OpenStax, it's going to create a new tab and give you access to everything in this chapter. We do have another video to give you some reading strategies on how to go through a textbook. But this way, you have access to everything a normal uh, paper textbook might have, including images and figures. Everything is right available right from that table of contents. The next thing we're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the table of contents to where these chapters start with letters. These are called appendices, and these are secrets in your textbook that are kind of like cheat sheets or really good for referencing when you have questions about what's going on or things you might think you need to Google. Here in this chemistry textbook, we have access to the entire periodic table. It's right here. We don't need to Google it. We don't need to do anything else. It's all right in the textbook encapsulated with all of the information that you might need to answer those chemistry questions. You might have questions about things like converting. And look, there's appendix right there, appendix C, units and conversion factors. We're going to click on that. And so if you wanted to know how to convert a yard into meters, that conversion is right there for you. Again, you don't have to Google. You don't have to look at Wikipedia. It's all right in this textbook for you. Lastly, I want to focus on practice problems and solutions. At the end of each chapter, you might have questions of how do I review or how do I get ready for my exam? If your faculty member isn't providing this for you, or even if you want to just study some extra, you can go into any of these chapters and go into exercises. This is where there will be questions covering the entire chapter, and you can see that in this textbook, the odd ones are hyperlinked. What I recommend is going through each of these unit questions. And right now there are seven questions in one one chemistry and context, going through and treating it just like a test. Put aside your notes, put go somewhere quiet where there's no distractions, answer these questions just as if it were a test. And then you can check to see your answers just by clicking on the hyperlink and the answers are right there. This way you can check your answers against the textbook to make sure that you truly understand. It can help you figure out if you still have questions. It can help you figure out if you need to review or maybe visit office hours or a tutor. That's it. Those are all of our strategies for navigating an e-textbook. As always, if you have questions, you can visit us